SpongeBob Superstar. Chapter 3. SpongeBob SquarePants, an assistant called out again. That's me, said a cheerful SpongeBob. What stunt are you going to perform? the assistant asked. Follow me into the kitchen, SpongeBob said and led the way. The director looked around at his crew. They were used to directing others, not being directed. Then he grimaced and said, This better be good. Once in the kitchen, SpongeBob did his best to make his stunt sound daring and inventive. He announced, I'm about to perform a stunt never attempted right before your eyes. Deep down, SpongeBob knew that was really true since he hadn't prepared anything. I shall attempt to make 300 Krabby Patties in a row. How is that a stunt? Someone yelled. Boo! Hollered someone else. SpongeBob noticed the director getting impatient. You didn't let me finish, he said quickly. I will perform this daring stunt blindfolded over a hot, hot, hot grill and with one hand tied behind my back, my patty flipping hand. <gasps> Ooh, the audience gasped. Once he was blindfolded and his award-winning flipping hand was tied behind his back, SpongeBob went to work. But because SpongeBob was nervous and he couldn't see what he was doing, he was making Krabby Patties inside out. The bun was on the inside. Then the Krabby Patty mustard, ketchup, pickle, onion, and tomato. Then lettuce was on the outside where the bun should have been. Everyone started laughing. That mu that must be jealous laughter to throw me off, SpongeBob thought to himself, still blindfolded. I'll just work faster. Unfortunately, his left hand just couldn't flip as precisely as his left as his right hand, which was still tied behind his back. Soon he was flipping Krabby Patties all over the place. The director and his crew all covered their heads. It seemed to be raining Krabby Patties. Just then, Mr. Krabs walked in. What the barnacle? He cried. Me kitchen! Me Krabby Patties! He ran over to SpongeBob, who was buried beneath a pile of Krabby Patties, and took off his blindfold. By this time, everyone was hysterical, even the director. He didn't know which was funnier, the stunt of SpongeBob him, the, the stunt or SpongeBob himself. He pulled his production team close to him. Forget the Daredevil show, he whispered with a sinister laugh. <laughs> I've got an idea that will make us millionaires. We're going to turn this show into a rip-roaring blooper show. We'll be the funniest thing on television. The director called SpongeBob over. Hey kid, what's your name? SpongeBob SquarePants, replied the harried fry cook. The director stuck his fin out. I'm Kuda, Barry Kuda, he said. It's an honor, sir, SpongeBob replied, shaking his fin. How would you like to be a star? The director asked SpongeBob. Me? asked SpongeBob. That's right, you're the next Daredevil superstar, Barry Coda assured him. There won't be an invertebrate in Bikini Bottom who wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Woohoo! SpongeBob exclaimed. Barry immediately saw that SpongeBob was easily influenced. That will make it easier to get him to do what I want, he muttered to himself. Then he pulled out a floor-length contract and said, Okay, let's make a deal. SpongeBob couldn't believe it. I'm going to be a star! SpongeBob SquarePants is going to be a star! He said dreamily to no one in particular. That's right, Barry assured him. A star is born. In fact, just like a real star, I think you need a stage name. How about Spongebob Superstar? Spongebob practically jumped for joy as he signed the contract with his new celebrity name. Everyone go home, Barry Coda announced. We found our star, Spongebob beamed. He ran over to his friends and excitedly said, Can you believe it? Me! He picked little old me to be the star! 
Way to go, little square dude, Sandy told him. That's me, boy, Mr. Krabs said, patting him on the back. I just can't believe it, SpongeBob shouted. Wow, cried Patrick. I know a real superstar. Can I touch you? SpongeBob stuck out his hand and grinned. Almost a superstar, but when I become rich and famous, I promise I'll share everything with you. Squidward, though, was still annoyed about the clarinet incident and said, Well, at least you won't be working here for a while. Oh no, I forgot, Spongebob exclaimed. Mr. Krabs, is it okay if I take some time off to tape this special? Absolutely, said Mr. C Mr. Krabs replied. I'm sure Squidward won't mind covering your shifts, <laughs> he said with a belly laugh. Arrgh, Squidward groaned. Barry Coda approached Spongebob and told him, Shooting starts tomorrow morning. Oh, Mr. Kuda, began Spongebob. These are my friends. Yeah, whatever, said Barry. See you tomorrow. Should I practice any stunts? asked Spongebob. No, Barry said a little too quickly. I mean, uh, no, it's not necessary. Okay, Mr. Kuda, Spongebob replied cheerily. See you tomorrow. Stay tuned for chapter 4 coming up soon.